Sicherheitstruppe. Nein, wir beginnen gerade eine Sicherheitsaktualisierung. Er wird sie später anrufen. Auf Wiedersehen. Commencing Security Sweep 121 at 1500 hours. Zone A, Sectors 1 through 6. CV confirmed online. Punch it in. Sector 1. Sector 1. Status normal. Status normal. Sector 2. Sector 2. Status normal. Status normal. Stop. Zoom in. No, no. Camera 4. Camera 4. And left. 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 Close in. There. Acquire status. Unknown, sir. Zoom in. Increasing resolution. Stand by. We have a problem. Cut that chatter. Give me more audio. Track it. Track it. It's heading for sector 5. Alert all sectors. Scramble XCOM crap. It's moving. Feeding all cameras. Come on. This is come on. Security. Come on. Come on. Hey everybody, about two months ago, I picked up the console version of the Phoenix Point video game. It looks and plays a lot like the modern XCOM games. One of the reasons for that is probably because one of the main people working on the game, one of the main developers, was one of the co-creators of the original XCOM series. And another reason for that might be because a lot of turn-based strategy games set in a near future or sci-fi setting are going to have a lot of aesthetic similarities just based on the subject matter. Not always, but quite often. It also plays a lot like uh, Gears of War Tactics also, which is also another good game. <laughs> but, the, but the landscapes and near future cityscapes look a lot more reminiscent of the XCOM universe instead of the more uh, war-torn battle sites in Gears of War Tactics. I think one of the major key differences is in Phoenix Point, there is a bigger emphasis played on uh, forming alliances and the politics of the world that you're playing in. In the modern incarnation of the XCOM franchise, there's some of that, but not nearly as in-depth as in Phoenix Point. In XCOM, once you get those alliances sort of squared away in the beginning of like first quarter of the game, you pretty much don't have to worry about it for the rest of your campaign. And Gears of War has some minor alliance diplomatic stuff, but that's mostly built into the storyline, so you don't really have to work at anything. It just sort of, uh, an alliance with, with some of the settlements uh, are just built into the story. So Whereas in Phoenix Point, there's a lot of uh, political maneuvering and uh, deciding which faction you're going to support or ally yourself with, which I honestly think, uh, as I play more of the game, is going to be less fun for me. <laughs> because even though it's a video game, certain things, me personally, I just can't bring myself to do. <laughs> like you can, at the request of certain factions, launch raids on other human factions, and I just can't bring myself to do that. <laughs> Because I feel, you know, we're, we're all humanity fighting against this uh, encroaching virus and we shouldn't be wasting our time fighting amongst ourselves and, and backstabbing and double-crossing each other. If you choose to draw any real-world parallels with what I just said, uh, you know, that's up to you. <laughs> But yeah, as I said, it uh, looks pretty good, graphics are good, um, plays good, like I said, very reminiscent of the XCOM stuff, the current XCOM stuff. When I picked it up, it was about 40 bucks, and you've got um, about half a dozen different DLC items with that, and by items I mean, I don't mean just uh, cosmetic things, although there was some of that. I mean also like entire campaigns, extra campaigns and stuff to extend and enrich your gameplay. I have not gone back to check and see if that was like a launch day kind of special price or if it has if the price has raised or lowered since then. I haven't gone back to check on that. I do think though, uh, 40 bucks for all you get is a pretty good price. Is a pretty good deal, but part of the reason for that pricing might be because PC players had been playing it probably for a year or so. I'm not even sure exactly when it came out on, on PC, but that might have played into why it was such a reasonable price for the console version. But hey, that's fine by me. Uh, <laughs> I knew I was going to get it anyway on the console, so if you are a PC player, uh, this is all old news to you. <laughs> but yeah, I would recommend it. Looks cool, plays well, has a cool, very cool storyline. 
If you like strategy games, uh, tactical games, and you're a sci-fi uh, geek, I think you would definitely enjoy it. Um, I also would recommend picking up, if you haven't already, <laughs> would recommend picking up the XCOM games and Gears of War Tactics. Yeah, all three of those might, might make a nice little Christmas bundle for you if you don't have, have them already. Anyway, just thought I'd share that little bit of information with you. My opinion on the game as a... Uh, my not very in-depth opinion about the game <laughs> as i haven't played a tremendous amount of the game yet anyway thanks for watching i appreciate it and until next time i will see you welcome back commander Thank you.